Hello Chrome fans, it's James here. In this video I'm going to show you how to install uBlock Origin Lite, which is pretty much the best ad blocker there is on the internet. It protects you against malicious ads and just ads in general. Um, you can get it for both Chrome and Edge and the installation is pretty much the same on both. You need to first off go to the Chrome Web Store. So that's chromewebstore.google.com or you can just Google it. Once you're on the Chrome Web Store, search for uBlock Origin Lite. You should see a page like this come back. Once you're on the page, just scroll down and make sure that the version you've clicked on is offered by Raymond Hill, Gore Hill. That's the developer of the bit of software. This software is open source. There's lots of people who are making imitation versions of it, which are could be risky, may not be uh, doing what you want them to do. So just make sure you've got the right one. Once you have, click in the right hand corner, add to Chrome. Mine currently says remove from Chrome because I've already got it installed. But it's the same as well if you're on Edge, you can actually install it from the Chrome Web Store as well. And just click Add from Chrome and it will install the extension into both your Chrome or Edge browser. Once it's installed, this page will appear and it will just be a basic setup. It's all working now. You don't need to do anything more. You can close this page if you want to and just carry on using the internet and adverts will be blocked. But I would recommend just doing this one setting change here. Well, actually two settings changes. The first one on this page is I'd move it from basic to optimal. And the reason for that is it just makes web pages look a bit nicer. So when you've got it on basic mode, the advert gets removed from the web page, but the white space where the advert would have been remains. If you put it on optimal, it also removes that white space. So it just if there's like a say like there's a banner ad, it'll remove that white space from the banner head and just move the text up. It just makes the web page look more natural, like there was never meant to be an advert there in the first place. So um, I recommend sticking on optimal. And then if you want to, you can also add a couple of, when you've got it on optimal mode, you can ask, add a couple of domains that you never want any filtering to take place. So I've got the company domain here and I've got the admin panel for Google Workspace because I'm in there and often, often, and I don't want any filtering to take place there and just in case it affects anything. Um, if I go back to filter lists as well across the top, this is a real cool feature that you can um, add. So click on filter lists and down here, you'll have these first three should be ticked. And then you've got this section called annoyances. And under annoyances, this top one is real nice because it removes cookie banners. So now whenever you go to a website and you get the cookie banner, you accept the cookies or reject them, you can just get rid of that by putting a tick in here and it will remove those cookie banners. You've got a few other options here as well. Um, other annoyances, I don't actually know what that covers because I've been to the web page and it doesn't actually state what other annoyances are. So I'd probably leave that one unticked. Overlay notices, this will be like if you're reading a blog post and it pops up, do you want to, do you want to um, sign up to our newsletter or something like that? Uh, social widgets, that just gets rid of like any embeds from maybe Instagram or X or anything like that. And chat widgets will get rid of any live chat that's on the website, so you don't get a pop-up saying, do you want to have a chat, do you want to talk to an advisor, that kind of stuff. Then you've got a few other malicious, uh, malicious uh, miscellaneous stuff down here. Um, to find out what they do, just click on the house button and it will uh, describe what they do. You don't really need to turn in any of those on. They're not going to give you much more benefit over what you've got here. So once you've got that stuff set up, you can always then change it when you're on a website. So I'm going to go to our company website here. And in the top right hand corner, you'll now see that the uBlock Origin um, icon is there for the extension. If you don't see it, just click on the extensions button and it should be listed there. But when you click on it, you'll see that it tells you what type of filtering mode you've got for this website. And all you need to do is move the slider to the level of filtering you want. So if I moved it back, move it to optimal, it will move to optimal, it will reload the website and any adverts that were on the website will have been removed. Um, again, if it's your own business website, I'd recommend having it on no filter because you want to see how your website is to the vast majority of people and the vast majority of people aren't going to be using an ad blocker. Um, so that's how you slide it up and down and make any changes to the filtering. Um, you also might want to turn it to no filtering if you're on a website that's not working as expected. Um, I sometimes find that like price comparison websites and airline websites can play up if you've got an ad blocker on. So you might want to turn that off. And whatever setting you set here for the individual website will be remembered for the next time you visit the website. So it's a permanent uh, fix, a setting that you're putting in place. And if you ever want to get back to this settings page here, all you need to do is click on this settings cog here and it will take you back to this settings page and it will open it if it's not open on your browser already and you can change the overall default settings. But that's how you use Adblock, um, uBlock Origin Lite. It's worthwhile using it. It's a fantastic ad blocker and it will help protect you while you're browsing the internet.